doth my root nose deceive me? That divine fragrance may be thou carriest the tastiest and most coveted third in all the forest. Give the friendly foot your taster, Alia. Oh, wonder of wonders! I thank thee for thine gift. Fare thee well, my friends. Ah. Um. Where do I want to go next? Uh. Da. Yes, this here. Eh, no. Oh, bedroom. Oh. The bigger columns are always rough housing. It's n I'm not ready for that yet, so just hang out with the cats. This is still kind of blowing my mind. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh. Ooh. Fire. Um, are you a pig? Wah, wah, wah. You come to feed me rocks or truffalos? I wonder if he would follow us if he used the truffle perfume. So... Oh, I should save probably. Uh, wah, wah! Why you smell like truffalo? I follow you. Um, okay, well... You're a weird pig. What the... I don't even know, man. Hey, rocks! Rocks yum, not truffle for dessert. Uh, they kind of repellent, but good luck. R truffle perfume has faded. Whee! Ah, your house is free again. Ha! I guess that pig finally ate the rocks blocking our door. Someone needs to tell those golems to go roughhouse. To go roughhousing somewhere else. Uh, Western water flow switch. Gotcha. Whee! Alright. That was one of the two switches. Thank you, now I can finally get into my home. Too bad for the truffalos. Do you have any questions? Nope. Well, they have repellent, so they're, they're gonna be fine. Let's see if I can get back to that tree. Uh, yeah, he was over here. I'm honestly surprised I didn't get too lost. Oh boy, bathrooms. Bad, 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 bad. Um. Oh my god, it looks so fucking amazing. Oh wow, I'm so beautiful. My feet tell me that you helped all of them. Because you gave them sun, water, and dirt, I was able to grow up into a full tree. Thank you for your help. We all feel much better now. Here, to say thank you, I want you to have one of my fruit. You received this. Oh, thank you! <laughs> He's so cute. Hey, guy, I got you some food. I smell. Seal apple? Hell yeah! Oh boy! I feel so different now. It's like I have so much more energy. Whoa! Woohoo! Um, bye. Wow, it's like Big Brother is a completely different golem when he's full. Yeah, apparently. Oh, bedroom. Yeah, I'm probably the brightest glow room in here. Well, duh. We're talking a thousand watts, 90 second intervals, and it can bench like five times my own weight. Eastern water flow switch. That glow room is so annoying. It's like no one cares how many reps you can do or how many dead plant shakes you drink a day. <laughs> Alright, the lake has been drained. Great job. So before I go back now, I'm probably going to go squish all the shrooms real quick. And then go talk to the, the other shrooms again. Let's see. Alright, back. 
Whoa, little dude, you are so radical. My sources tell me that you've stepped on a lot of bathrooms. Whee! I guess you've totally earned access to the store. The store. Only members of the RPS and dudes that the RPS deems worthy are allowed to buy items from... The store. Woohoo! It's a way of saying thank you for your help, little dude. And super rat mom. Unfortunately, we're not quite open yet. Why don't you come back in a while and we'll totally hook you up. Cool! Alright. In the meantime... Let's go back to... There we go. Alright, so... Let's get... Um, oh wait, there's some stuff over here first. Uh, 10 G. Man, I'm rich! I'm like the richest kid ever. Let's get the tools. Oh my god, these are like solid. You found the blacksmith's tools! Yay! Okay. Oh, my wonderful tools! And give the blacksmith back his tools. Thank you so much! Now, as promised, I'll clear your path to Morzora's Grove. Whee! There you go! Well, I'd better get back to my shop. Thanks for everything. Oh, one more thing. If you visit my shop, I can build you some tools of your own. It's gonna take me a little time to get everything up and running again, though. So. Why don't you come by once you're done talking to Morizora? Hopefully I'll be ready by then. Good luck. Um, thanks! Yeah, I can't wait to, like, destroy some things here. Whee! Oh, don't. I'd recommend against going down this path for the time being. There are far too many envoy beyond this point. Okay. Well, thanks. Bye. Whoa. Oof! It's bright. Duh! Morizora. It looks like we have visitors. Hmm. I do not recognize their kind at all. I don't think they're from Morizora's forest. Hmm. Definitely not from around here. Definitely not. It's been many years since we've had visitors such as these. Tell me, young boy, what brings you to the Keeper's Grove? I want to ask Morizara if he would grant me a wish. I'm willing to do whatever it takes. I'm sorry, but Morizora has been sleeping for a while now. Oh. Do you know when he's going to wake up? My boy, this is not an ordinary slumber. A darkness has fallen over Morizora's lands, and over him as well. A darkness? You see, we have long shared this world with the envoy. There are spirits between this realm and the next. Typically peaceful, merely passing through. However, lately more and more of them have become overrun with negative energy. Anger, fear, hatred. The whole forest can feel it. If Morizora sleeps and darkness subsumes his lands, we are all in danger. This is terrible, we have to do something. Oh. Let me try to wake him up for you. Haha, <laughs> my boy, Morizora cannot be awoken by just any means. When darkness has caused him to fall into slumber, the only thing that can awaken him is a very special song. A 
a song that we call Mori no Kokoro. Can you teach it to me? No, my child, I cannot. But that's not to say that you can't learn it. When you can hear things that are too quiet for the ears, the fear and longing, the hopes and dreams of those around you, then you can wake him. I'm sorry, but I don't understand. Look around us. Do you see the stones with different markings? Yes. Each one represents a voice that is calling out for your help right now. A man whose connection with his wife has been severed. A woman who prepares to lose that which is the most dear to her. Seek them out, along with the rest who call out to you. If you help them, they will teach you what you seek to learn. See that one over there? Yes. Shh, listen. My wife's been asleep for months now. Something tells me that's a good place to start. Good luck, young one. Return to us if you need any help. So, first, let's go see Jackie. Um, he said he was gonna be done when we talked to Morizona, so, oops, sorry. The other buds tell me that you went to see Morizona. I wonder when he's gonna wake up again. I miss him. No. Oh. Hey guys! Don't forget to come by my shop. I'll make you an axe. <gasps> Hell yeah, bro. Make me an axe, please. Uh. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Oh, it's nice. What does this say? Tool menu. Axe, camphor sticks, nightstone. Pickaxe, camphor sticks. Woman rock and nightstone. Oh, where do I get all that stuff from? Oh, hey, you guys. Thanks again for helping me get my tools back. My shop isn't fully functional yet, but if you bring me the right materials, I can make you an axe of your own. I'll eat five camphor sticks and three pieces of nightstone. I'm sure you can find those things in the area just southeast of the village. Okay, okay. Alright. Southeast of the village. So where I wanted to go. But the sign was like, nah, bruh. You two back again? You don't have to worry about us anymore. And why is that? We just went through Moizora's cave. We even got the blacksmith's tool back for him after they were stolen by angry uh, spirits. Oh, really? Well, why didn't you say so? I guess you two can handle yourselves after all. You're free to pass, but be careful. Thanks. Good luck in there. I wish science could speak. That'd be fun. <laughs> um. Okay, I, I just got... God knows what I got. I don't think we're gonna... Oh, okay, this is for cutting again, of course. Ooh, berries! Thank you very much! Those are, um, fireflies. You'll need something to carry this in before you can catch it. Oh, right, right, makes sense. Hey, an onion! Have you ever heard the stereotype that onions smell bad? Well, let me tell you, it's not true. 
Sure, I might have a few cousins who only shower once a month, and their trash cans are overflowing with fast food wrappers. But, they're the exception. For the most part, we smell rather nice. Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, let's just collect a bunch of stuff. Might as well clean up this area. And talk to things. Mini Mori 16. Where are all the others, man? Hi, I'm a Mini, I'm a Mini Mori. There are many of us, and we all have a number attached to our name. Do you know what the numbers stand for? It's the order in which we came into this world. Oh. Jeez. So, like, human one, human two, three? <laughs> That would be a lot of numbers. Okay, uh, we can't pass here yet. So, oh, I forgot to talk to you. Shit. What do you want? Well, um, bathrooms? <laughs> no. Can we pass here anywhere? Sort of. Okay, um, Ada Zalibu is like, nah, brah. Probably. Let me see. Is he all like, nah, brah? Sorry, the festival grounds are closed until we get everything set up. Yep, okay. Um, some more sticks. Can I, can I, am I allowed to open this? 20 gold, yay. The labels use the area south of here for their Star Night Festival. <gasps> I get to see one. I get crazy. But you know, it's really crazy. Being a slave to your possessions. You know, you know what I'm saying? It's overwhelming. That's why I decided to get rid of all my stuff except for my garden. I love my garden. It brings me joy. So if you're thinking, it feels bad taking what's in that guy's box. He's standing right there. Don't feel bad. Oh. <laughs> I don't even need it anymore. You know, it's tough at first, letting go of your possessions, but once you do, it's sweet, sweet freedom. Sorry, I should've talked to you first before taking that, but you seemed okay. <laughs> I mean, you would've stopped me otherwise. Thought I'm a rude kid. <laughs> God, this game has beautiful music. Not even gonna lie here. I'll need something to catch fireflies, so uh, we'll see. So how much of everything do I have now? Camping stick camper sticks, not camping sticks. <laughs> okay. Uh it should be enough to get a an axe. Does this restock? Uh nope. Okay, well, um, good to know. So, it's... Well, once I have the axe, though, it's probably gonna unlock new places where I can get things, so... And I'm assuming it's also gonna let me collect bamboo for, that I need for, um... God, was it Kora? Hi. Ah, I see you found the materials for your axe. One moment, please. I hope you enjoy your new axe. You received an axe. It works great on bamboo and other types of wood. In fact, why don't you go test it out on that door up there? Chop it down. Feel free to take what you find inside. <gasps> why do you have a boarded up door in your hut? Why not? Um. <laughs> okay, it's automatic, so I... Ooh! You found a cat's eye marble. Oh, she's gonna be so happy. Welcome back, guys. What can I make for you today? All right, a pickaxe. What do I need for a pickaxe? So five sticks, three lumen rocks, and three nice stone. Okay. No, first of all, let's just chop everything down here. Wee! You found 10 gold, okay. This is gonna help them too anyway, it's like, let's mess. 
Does this keep the bamboo? I'm curious. Um, yes, yes it does. Alright. You found 10 gold, okay. Do we have any more bamboo? There's some in the south, but it's like, whatever. I need a pickaxe for the rocks. There were some places in a cave that I can go open. And then I should probably travel back to um the actual world or I don't know how to name it. The hospital world. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, actually let's quickly see what's over here. Hey, I wanted that bro. Oh, you can... Where has my friend gone? I can't sleep until I find her. Oh, can we can we jump, Dad? Hiya! Thanks for watching my video. I hope you liked it. Please make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my content. Don't be shy about leaving me a comment with your thoughts either. Make sure to check out my other work as well if you'd like to support me. Thank you and until next time. Bye-yo! <laughs>